morning, and welcome to Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center. Bishop Timothy Byron McGee and Pastor Bernadine Bell McGee are honored to have you worship with them at 16012 Cottage Grove in South Holland, Illinois. Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center is where we believe Jesus is Lord, building his kingdom is our purpose, and every guest or member is our priority. We are Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center, where our motto is inspiring ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Wherever you are online, join, like, follow, and share Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center. We can be found on Facebook and YouTube. Now, let's enter into our worship. He's worthy. Somebody just open your mouth and say, God, I love you. You're deserving of everything. Hallelujah, God, I love you. Okay. Can you just open your mouth and just begin to talk to your father this morning? Come on, can we feel the atmosphere this morning? Can you not wait on us? You open your mouth and talk to him this morning. Let's hear it go. I lift my hands right. Y'all know this song. I lift my hands in total adoration. Come on, say you reign. You reign on the for you are God. For you are God. Say, say, I lift, I lift my hands Come on, y'all know this song. See you. Say, I worship and adore you. I worship and adore. I just want to tell you, yeah. Just want to tell you. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. More than anything. More than anything. Come on, sing it from your heart to his and say, say, I Shabbat Shalom. 
by today's worship. Now, let's prepare our hearts and our minds to receive a fresh word from the Lord from our very own phenomenal teacher and spiritual leader of Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center, Bishop Timothy Byron McGee. Great word, I'm appreciative today and I have something I want to share with you. How y'all going to help me, help me today? I think y'all gonna help me today. I don't normally ask for it, but I need your help today. Uh, in the book of Exodus, the book of Exodus, the book of Exodus, the 17th chapter, uh, uh, the book of Exodus, the 17th chapter, uh, verses 11 through 16, if you have it, say amen. And it shall come to pass when Moses I'm sorry, it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let his hand down, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put under him. And he sat there on an Aaron and her stayed up his hand, and one on the one side and one on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. Verse 13, and Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. And the Lord said unto Moses, write this for a memorial in a book. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek of Amalek from under the heaven and Moses built an altar and called the name of the altar what? Jehovah Nissi for the Lord for he said because the Lord has sworn that he will have war with Amalek from generation to generation the Word of the Lord is blessed, and we receive it in the name of Jesus. Um, for the last two months, I've, I've, I've had this message, too. I've been on sabbatical, and God has been dealing with me uh, about what we're going through and, and how we're going through things. 
and uh, 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 you know we just got over the resurrection Sunday, and and God has really been dealing with me about uh, your struggle. Look at somebody and say your struggle. And so he told me just the story about Moses and Joshua uh, defeating the, the Amalekites. And so what happened was uh, uh, the war got a little bit too heavy for Moses. And the Moses sent Aaron, I mean, uh, the Lord sent Aaron and Ur to hold up the arms of Moses. Because as long as his arms were elevated or erected, uh, they would win the war. But when his arms would go down, they would begin to lose the war. You should have just got a revelation of why it's so important for you to pray for your leader. Because see, I'm not just warring on my behalf. What I did while I was gone, I warred on your behalf. And on behalf of the people. Uh, and I warn about your struggle. Uh, and see, people of God, you've got to understand uh, how special and how important and essential uh, you are to God. Uh, why you ain't thinking about nothing and thinking about yourself. Uh, he has somebody interceding on your behalf. Uh, he has somebody praying you through. Uh, he has somebody warning on your behalf and God told me to tell you all two months ago I ain't been able to get to this but he told me to tell you this your struggle has yielded to victory that's what God told me to tell you about your struggle look at your neighbor and say neighbor your struggle uh, has yielded uh, to victory. Uh, oh, we can shout now. Uh, we can give a glory now uh, because the struggle uh, is yielded, uh, is given in. To victory. I know you haven't heard it like this before. Your struggle has yielded to victory. And so in our passage here, when 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 Moses look raised the sword, I had to had to go get my old Bible this time. When Moses raised the sword over the army of the Amalekites, they got the victory. When he lifted up the sword, here it is in, in verse. Uh, 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 where am I? Where am I? Let's go in, in verse. Verse two, and his hands were heavy, and uh, and they took a stone and they put it up under stone and uh, stayed up under his hand and on the side and on the other side his hand. Verse thirteen, and Joshua did. Comforted Amalekite and the people with the edge of the sword. When Joshua lift up the sword, the people were defeated. And so here, uh, I want to talk about Jehovah Jireh. I mean Jehovah Nissi. We know we always talk about Jehovah Jireh because that's the God of more than enough. That's the God of our substance. The, the God that gives us plenty. And we always want God to give us something. Thing. I'm getting so in life. People, I don't know whether y'all believe this or not, but there is a peace that money just can not buy. There, there is a soothing. There is a healing that money just cannot buy. And so Moses built an altar and he named the altar Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. Uh, uh, uh. God our flag, God our banner, God our victory. Who is he reading with me? God. Come on, y'all. Yes. See, people of God, y'all got to know who you're serving. We're serving Jehovah Jireh, God our flag, God our banner. 
better uh, and God our victory. Uh, so people I came to tell you, and I know we just got finished with Resurrection Sunday, uh, but I came to tell you uh, that Jesus just didn't die uh, for your sin. Uh, he just didn't die uh, that you might have a right to the tree of life. Uh, he didn't just die uh, for your justification. Uh, he didn't just lay in the grave uh, to confiscate the keys uh, of life and death for the enemy. Uh, but when he rose, uh, he rose with power. Uh, when he rose, uh, he rose with death or grave. Uh, when he rose, uh, he rose with the power to save us from our sin. Uh, he rose with power uh, to heal us of every disease. Uh, he rose with Power uh, over all the power of the enemy. Uh, he rose with power uh, to give us eternal life. Uh, and sometimes we get stuck right there. Uh, God ain't only concerned uh, about your eternal life. Uh, he rose uh, that you have power uh, over your present struggles, uh, the struggles of your mind, uh, the struggles of your heart, uh, the struggles. Emotionally, uh, the struggle in your finances. Uh, God gave you power uh, over your struggles. Uh, he gave you power uh, over your struggles. Uh, I tell anybody uh, to lift up your sword uh, over your struggles uh, because your struggles uh, have yielded uh, to the power. Uh, somebody shall glory. I got to get ready. God has commissioned me this morning uh, to tell you not just to be concerned about your soul salvation, uh, living uh, eternally in the heaven, uh, about taking off uh, the corruptible uh, and putting on uh, the incorruptible. Uh, I have been assigned to inform you uh, also concerning your struggles. Uh, people of God, uh, God is not just worried uh, about you living in the heaven, uh, walking streets of gold, uh, seeing case of pearl, uh, trying to see your dead mama, uh, trying to see your dead daddy. Uh, but until you get there, uh, he's giving you power. Uh, over your struggles, uh, the struggles that try to make you, uh, the struggles that try to weigh you down, uh, the struggles that try to depress you, uh, your struggles of, of hopelessness, uh, and of joy, uh, of God, uh, to speak over your struggles, uh, and lift my sword uh, over every struggle in this house. Anybody that will believe it, anybody that will receive it, every struggle, struggle in your mind, struggle in your heart, struggle in your past, struggle in your marriage, struggle in your home, I think uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, your struggle. Uh, uh, your struggle uh, has been incarcerated. Uh, your struggle uh, has been obliterated. Uh, your struggle uh, has been defeated. Uh, your struggle uh, has been jailed. Uh, your struggle uh, is proving a life sentence. Uh, somebody say, uh, my struggle. Uh, Yielded to victory. Remain standing and I'm almost done. Your struggle. Dr. Bernadine. Oh, an apostle. God told me to tell you 
If y'all would just lift your hands. And get your struggles in your mind. He told me to speak to every deacon, every deaconess, every mother, every member. If you would just picture your stuff in your mind. He's getting ready to do something for you. He understands your tears. He understands struggles after church. Y'all think I know what I just said. He understands struggles after church. He understands struggles when you get back home. He understands struggles when you go back to your job. But he told me to tell you something, lift your hands. Lift your hands. This is for only those who received him. God has adjured me by the power of his word to lift up the sword. Hold on. No, you put yours down. Moses lift up the sword. You put yours down. I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for you. He told me to speak over you. To lift up the sword over every challenge, over every situation that you have because your struggle has yielded to victory. If you receive it, worship him. Come on, if you receive it, worship him. Listen to this. Stay put. Stay in the right position. Verse 14, Carnell. It says, and the Lord told Moses, uh, write this for a memorial in the book. Listen to this. Listen to this. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. God told me to write it in the book and rehearse it in the ears of these people. He told me to keep saying it. He told me to keep proclaiming it. He told me to keep declaring it, to keep rehearsing it, because some of y'all has got to get down in your spirit. I'm not saying that you're not going to have struggles, but what I am saying, that if you lift up that sword, your struggle has to yield to victory. What am I saying? Some of you struggle, and there's some things that are tangled up in your life. God told me to tell you today uh, he's getting ready to detangle some things. Uh, he said there's some things uh, that are raveled up. Uh, he said uh, I'm getting ready to unravel uh, the things in your life. Uh, uh, your struggle uh, is going to be rendered hopeless. Uh, your struggle uh, is going to be rendered without power. Uh, your Struggle uh, has no power over you. Uh, your struggle uh, is not going to bind you. Uh, your struggle uh, is not going to hold you back. Uh, because Jehovah Jireh, uh, Jehovah Nisty, uh, is going to declare you uh, victorious. Uh, he's going to declare you uh, victorious. Uh, how about 
three people uh, and they are declare you uh, victorious. Come on, come on. I declare you. I declare you victorious uh, over every situation. Uh, victorious uh, over every habit. Uh, victorious uh, over every sickness. Uh, victorious uh, over every disease. Uh, victorious uh, over every stronghold. Uh, victorious uh, over every chain. Uh, victorious uh, over every pedal. Uh, I declare you sick. me I hold up the sword and I declare me Victoria this is why and I'm done it's so imperative to pray for your shepherd because the shepherd's got something bottled up in him that you need to impart in you. Today, I declare you victorious. I said today, not tomorrow, not Tuesday, not the rest of this week. Jehovah needs it. Declare you. Yeah, I'm done. The word yield. Let's go there, kind of. Remain standing with me. I'm done. The word yield means to give into or to give up to. Look at me. If this is your struggle. Y'all got to stop praying for your struggle on your side. You pray for your struggle like this. God, I'm yielding this struggle to you. I've had this struggle for a long time. I'm yielding it to you because hand me my Bible, son. Get another handkerchief. Go get a clean handkerchief right quick. Give him a clean handkerchief right quick. I'm yielding, I'm trying to show you all. Stop right there. Hold your struggle to me. I'm God. When you say, God, I'm yielding my struggle to you. Cause this struggle is trying to take me out. Has anybody ever experienced something that was trying to take you out? This struggle is trying to take me out. But because I'm Jehovah Nisi, the God your banner, the God your flag, the God your victory, come closer, struggle. But when they get close, I hold up the sword. And the struggle can't oh, The struggle can't come no further. I hold up the sword. The struggle can't come no further. Go down on your knees. Go down. And the more go down, the more the sword, the struggle go down. The greater the sword, the struggle go down. The greater the sword, the struggle go down. The struggle has yielded to. Victory. I'm 
I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But the reason I feel a little better now is because my struggle is down. The reason I can shout now is because my struggle is down. My struggle is down. The struggle uh, yielded uh, to the sword of the spirit. Uh, and I can shout. I'm going if you believe it. If you believe it. Bible. If you got your Bible, raise up your sword, and on your feet, declare that the struggle has yielded the victory. Now come on and pray the How many believe that today? I couldn't deliver it like I felt it. But I think y'all got the message. Jesus just didn't die for your future eternal life. He died for your present struggle. Put the last one on the board. Tell somebody, struggle has no power over us, but we are victorious. Come on, tell three people, struggle has no power over us, but we are victorious. Come on, struggle has no power over us, but we are victorious. Come on, come on, come on, struggle. Somebody shout no power. Somebody shout no power. Somebody shout no power. No power. No power. No power. No power. No power. Some struggles are interrogating. But the word of the Lord today, struggles have no power over us. Because of Jehovah Nisi. Woo! He waves the banner, he waves the flag of victory, overwhelming victory over us. He gives us a banner to show that we've defeated defeated our enemy. Uh, he reigns over us uh, victorious because of Jehovah Nancy. I promise you, I'm going to feel better than this next week. I'm going to get the rest of it out. But I promise you, if you take that home with you, you can take it home for free. You ain't, got to, you ain't got to pay me nothing for it. Struggle has no power over us. For we are victorious. Thanks for joining Free Spirit Ministerial Worship Center. We are so honored to have you worship with us today. We hope and pray that you have been encouraged and inspired. If you like to sow a financial seed, 
we have provided four ways for you to conveniently give. Join us here every Sunday at 9 a.m. And in the words of Bishop McGee, don't worry about anything, but trust God for everything. See you next time.